Car cameras, or dash cams as they're otherwise known, are not a particularly new type of technology product, but they're one of the faster growing products thanks to the increasing availability, falling prices, improved features, and not to mention the benefits they offer. On test here is the premium Thinkware X500, complete with rear camera, available for £250. If English is not your native language, use the captions button below to view subtitles and if you want to read the full written review that accompanies this video, head to blog.clove.co.uk. Features of different car cameras will vary, but on screen now you will see some of those offered by the X500. The process of installation is relatively simple. A basic camera could be installed and set up in as little as five minutes, but for the two camera solution like this, it's not a five minute job. You need to allow half an hour or so to install both cameras and ideally the assistance of somebody else to make the process a little easier. For hardwired options, you will possibly need the assistance of an auto electrician. The recommended position for mounting is behind the rear view mirror. Unfortunately, behind my rear view mirror is a plastic housing complete with various sensors that meant I had to bring the camera further down the windscreen, which did in turn mean it was affecting my line of sight fractionally and could be an MOT failure here in the UK. Fitting the rear camera is easier as in part due to the rotating lens. Do be aware that with a hatchback, you do need to leave a little bit of excess cable to allow for the stretch as the boot is opened. This in turn means when closed, there is a bit of excess cable that hangs. Be careful with any loads as they may catch. The main camera in the front of your vehicle has a 2.7 inch LCD display and four buttons on the back. These allow you to interact with the menus and settings, most of which can also be set from the computer software. There is a built-in microphone and speaker for providing audible warnings for safety cameras and a GPS receiver records your exact location. Once the camera is installed and set up, to your preference, there is very little you need to do with the camera. It just gets on and does what it needs to. You have the option of manual recording or continuous. Continuous uses more memory, but the X500 employs loop recording technology, which means that as soon as the memory card becomes full, the oldest recordings are overwritten. Clips where impacts have been detected are saved securely on the memory card, and a dual save option allows clips to be stored on the camera's internal memory. Should you need to perform a software update, the process is really simple and explained well in the user manual. Both the front and rear cameras record in full HD at 30 frames per second and in my opinion, coupled with the technology that improves the image quality in low light and bright light conditions, the results are very good. If you do choose to record anything manually, these files are not overwritten when the memory card is full. When you select manual recording, it will save 10 seconds prior and 50 seconds following the button press. When the camera detects an impact, it will automatically store the previous 10 seconds of footage as well as the next 10 seconds. This 20 second clip will then be saved in a secure location on the memory card. If there are multiple impacts, it will record for a maximum of one minute. Hardwired solutions allow for parking mode. If an impact or motion is detected when parked, 10 seconds of footage will be saved prior and following the impact in a secure location on the memory card. This clip will be extended up to one minute with multiple impacts. Thinkware offer a PC and Mac software solution for you to easily review files that are on the memory card. Installation of the software is not necessary if you do not want to. You can navigate to files on the memory card in a computer like you would a memory stick, but the software is a bit more intelligent in that it brings up the GPS data on a Google map along with your speed and easily allows you to switch between front and rear camera recordings. When playing back the footage, the video is stamped with the date and time. The data of GeForce is also being recorded along with audio if you have the mic turned on, along with your speed based on GPS data. You can zoom into footage, pause and save particular clips. For my first experience of a car camera, I feel the Thinkware X500 is a great solution. It has all the options you could really need and my mind, the front and rear recording offers brilliant peace of mind that everything is captured should something happen. Spend the time setting it up properly and you'll be rewarded if and when you need to use it. 
I cannot say the X500 is the best solution out there with my limited experience, but if this is what I have to benchmark others by, then they have a high standard to meet. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, do hit that like button and for more mobile technology videos, be sure to subscribe.